Disasters in the world are on the rise, and India is not an exception. The country has experienced 431 natural and man-made disasters over the last three decades. Every year, disasters affect some 17 million children nationwide. 8 million are hit by floods, 6 million by drought. 3 million are at risk of rising sea level. In 2012, three waves of devastating floods in India's northeast state of Assam left nearly 1.8 million children, along with their families, displaced and another 300,000 people were displaced by ethnic violence. Children and women remain the most vulnerable. To face these threats and minimize their impact, communities and government are joining hands. We have very thickly concentrated populations in uh, uh, recently constructed high-rise buildings and therefore it is very very necessary to prepare the people and the community to face any disaster and we thought that the best way of uh, uh, preparing the community is to hold a mock drill by which we create a scenario and uh, see as to how people will react and then build on that first we know as to where we stand and then develop a long-term capacity building program This week-long exercise was designed to assess the capabilities of first responders, adults and school children as they prepare to face disasters. More than 60 students and 30 teachers were trained on school safety. In most disasters, children are unfortunate victims, but more importantly, children also carry a very strong message back to the family. So if children get educated very early in their lives, the culture of safety improves. For the first time, an emergency exercise put children at the forefront of a real disaster management. And they embraced the challenge. We can play a significant role in bringing about awareness among our students, among our, even among elders to an extent, since large parts of our country are still illiterate. So this program has done a quite a good deal. Children should be prepared from an, for any emergency because when an emergency strikes, you don't, if you're in a school, the parent won't be there. You have to know how to protect yourself. Students attended lectures and learned specific disaster management techniques. UNICEF believes that children are powerful agents of change. Their skills and knowledge are crucial in managing disaster risks. UNICEF with its mandate for children uh, recognizes that children firstly are the most vulnerable. Especially young children in times of disaster remain the most vulnerable. But at the same time, children, older children and adolescents can really play a very critical role in uh, supporting their families, supporting their communities, if they are equipped with the right information. The effort to assess Guwahati's preparedness culminated in a mass emergency simulation involving more than 200 participants in which children also played an important role. I've learned a lot of things the past few days, um, how to handle, you know, when you're in a disaster. Now it's really the time to work it out. I'm going to be a victim for an earthquake disaster. Um, it's a scene 
where people would be hurt, getting injured. Today we are going to do some practically some methods. I am very eager to do this because I didn't do like any of these programs. Today the first time I have done like these programs. Uh, I think so it will benefit me much more. The police, the fire department, the National Disaster Response Force and the emergency medical services were alerted and responded to the situation. At the end of the exercise, students emphasized the importance of being prepared. This program should be held in every school to create awareness between the students and the teachers. I'm very grateful we got this platform to learn such things and I'm going to spread the message to all my friends that there should be more uh, campaign of such kind and they should join. Children are not only the future of the nation but also the present. They can stand up and take action now. Looking down the road, uh, again, children will be the future emergency management leaders of their communities. So educating them, involving them in the process uh, will ensure that that community will have leaders in the future that will, will prepare and enhance their preparedness. Now they know that every moment is important. Every minute is crucial. Every second counts. Be prepared. Stay safe.